so yesterday I used my makeup forever in number nine and number 92 and 151 um, I just want to do something really nice for Mother's Day and um, I tried out um, the Fergie lashes and someone asked me if the glue is any good and it, it was I mean it's really genius it comes in like a little tiny jar as opposed to like like a, a little plastic that you cut and just squeeze it out this has like a little applicator and everything so i thought that was really cool but it, it it didn't work at all i had to get my duo which is like the best um i cut them down and they were still too big so i'm either gonna have to use them as half lashes or cut them down some more so of course my lashes looked pretty with them but they were just still too big and the glue was just just no good but anyway yeah my mother's day was long and disappointing i didn't get anything i went to the outlets i went to the cco the cosmetics company um, outlet and i don't know if it said i haven't bought high end in a long time but those prices looked exactly like what they were like three years ago when i stopped buying or two years ago when i stopped buying high end so i really didn't get anything there's just one thing that really interested me it was a pigment but you had to buy like five and I just didn't feel like getting all those other colors, so, uh, so yeah, so I just didn't get anything. I went to go get a pair of sandals since I have a bad back, and I, I'm starting to get, like, arthritis, I believe, in my hips, um, so it hurts to walk, so I went to go get some nice cushiony sandals at Easy Spirit, thinking, you know, I'd be spending, like, $30. It was, like, $65. What, what kind of an outlet is that? <laughs> and I said, well, let me go to Lane Bryant, maybe get a nice summer dress, <laughs> And it was like $80 for a dress. I'm like, what the heck, you know? Uh, I'd rather just shop at Walmart. I, I, th I think I bought a dress there that I still have to this day. I think it only cost me like $20 or maybe $30 at most. So, yeah, um, I was disappointing. And then we went to go to the movies, to the 3.30 showing of a movie. Because we it was a long drive. So on the way back, we stopped at the movie theater um, that was on that long drive up north. And um, the 3.30 showing was, was um, 3D, and we can't stand 3D. And it was like another hour for the regular showing. So we just said, let's just go home and go eat. And then I called this dim sum place, because usually you can't get dim sum after 3. And it was already like 4. So I said, do you guys still have dim sum? And they said, oh, yeah, we, we sell, you know, we, we serve it all day. And it, I was so exhausted from that 45-minute drive there and back. So this was a 30 minute drive instead of north it was west and oh yeah we have I said specifically I'm looking for pork buns they said oh yeah 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 we have it after that 30 minute drive we drive out there and oh I'm sorry we ran out I was like so mad because by this time it's like six o'clock at night I haven't eaten so we drive back to go to a, a local um, place I want to try. It's called Papa Do. It's D E U X. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. And um, and so it was seafood. I really love seafood. And so I said, let me try this place. And it said Alaskan king crab. So I thought it was the whole crab. And she said, well, it's a half a crab. It's like okay. So um, she said you get four legs. I was like okay. So I thought it was actually a half a crab with the two front claws on each side and it was a fourth of a crab and I had to fight with this thing to get my meat out and by now it's seven o'clock at night I'm like so frustrated I haven't eaten I had a fight with this thing and it wouldn't crack because the shell got too soft to be able to crack but not soft enough that you can just cut it with a knife I had to take my fork and just chip away at this thing they didn't give me the crackers. They didn't give me the, you know, the little cracky thing. They didn't give me the skinny fork. It got so full for Mother's Day. It was so frustrating. And by the time I finished getting all the crab out of this crab, or the crab legs, I should say, um, I was exhausted. I was exhausted to no end. And I just wanted to come home and relax and watch Star Trek Generations with my husband. Because that was one of my dreams was to be able to watch the entire Star Trek series. So we're on Generations. And he had to go to work, and I wound up conking out. And by the time he got home, I got up um, to watch it. It was like by ten. I think by now it was like maybe ten o'clock at night, um, or thereabouts maybe. And I'm only half watching it because I'm like, 
you know i was like so frustrated i had a really long disappointing day i didn't get anything it was hard for me to enjoy my meal you know i was it was just a long long exhausting day so i didn't get nothing from mother's day but i did stop off at the drugstore <clears throat> Um, the, you know, all the spring stuff is out, uh, still no, uh, spring forward or anything, but, um, so all the spring stuff came out and I fell in love and I don't usually buy L'Oreal cause to me it's like almost as expensive as Mac, but I fell in love with this color and so, oh, I almost died when I went to pay for it. These are like pressed pigments, the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows are like pressed pigments and it is just absolutely gorgeous and um I almost died when I went to pay for this it's, it's ridiculous like ten dollars for this um and then since the Maybelline tattoos now I wasn't crazy about the first tattoos I got but I wanted to get um you know a tattoo to like put it on you know to use as a base so I got the lavender one which came out for spring and it's very silvery so I'm not crazy about the, the metallicness of it because it sh sometimes looks silver, more silver than lilac. And um, yeah, the name of this one is Lavish Lavender. So I picked that up. And uh, this one is, it's from their candy collection. And this one is called With a Twist, number 342. And it's limited edition. And it came with matching lip gloss and nail polish, but I, I wasn't interested in that. Um... So, yeah, so it's it's pretty. It's pretty. Um, and then Revlon came out with their spring nail decals. And I when I tried this last time, this last, it's lasted me a long time. So, like, maybe next time, I don't know, like, maybe I'm going on a trip, which I don't know when that will be, so that I could have nice nails and I don't have to, like, refresh it or anything. I think I'll use these for that. And um, I think this is the Wildflower Collection. Um, yeah, and this one's called bow quiet it's had you know pretty flowers on it i was eyeing another one but again this is this is like ten dollars but heb had a coupon for like three dollars off so i maybe next week i'll pick up the other one and like i have been dying to get this color from orchid all right the name of this color it seems like a good idea at the time when i first moved here i have picked it up and it got lost out of it fell out of my you know cart or whatever and i was never able to find one i think they they i thought they had discontinued it if they did bring it back it didn't have as much this has rainbow glitter in it um and um i couldn't find one that had the same amount of glitter as that first time so i never picked it up and finally there was one sitting there that had all that glitter in it again it's really a beautiful color it's um I, t I only put it on my um my ring finger I, I took a picture of that so i'll show that to you but you know that's what i um that's what i picked up um and then someone on facebook um sent me it's called it's since i can't do water marbling the water here is too hard or something Either it's too hard or has too many minerals, but as soon as the nail polish hits the water, it hardens immediately. And it'll either sink to the bottom or you can't make a design out of it. It just hardens immediately. So I've not been able to do, I've been wanting to like really try out different uh, water marble designs. So someone um, on my personal Facebook page sent me this. It's called watercolor uh, with the plastic bag technique. And um, I was going to do a tutorial, but I was like really tired as and um i forgot to take the pictures when i did them but i'm definitely i fell in love with this and i'm going to do this again um this was really gorgeous um i decided to use one of my revlon limited edition speed top coats that came out about two springs ago and it was like um like a pastel periwinkle a pastel uh like uh, this color like a, a pinkish purple um there was a purpley blue and then it was the stone wash which was kind of like a sheer off white and so what you what i did was i painted my entire nails um the off-white color two coats and it was kind of streaky but it doesn't matter because you're gonna put just like you would with um water marbling 
you put a couple of drops of each color and in my case like since it was so much would come out just put one drop of each color and then you just take a ziploc bag and stick your finger in it and, and just mess it up and pull it out and you get this pretty um it almost looks like water marbling but it's watercolor plastic bag technique and and i loved it and i'm gonna do this again and i'll do a tutorial for you or pictorial for you um, so yeah, so that was my uh, Mother's Day manicure. Um, so yeah, um, that's uh, that was my Mother's Day. And